Hi everyone, welcome back to Andrew Kids channel. Today I'm going to show you how I cook an offal dish. Uh, offal means part of uh, an internal organ of an animal. So the animal I'm cooking today is uh, from the pig and uh, this is the pork lung recipe. So I went to the butcher the other day and uh, I asked my pork man uh, can I get uh, pork lungs but apparently he don't sell this one you have to have a special order not like in the kampong area kampong area they actually sell it like for one ringgit or they even give it to you free but in KL I think it's more modernized so if you want then he has to order for, for you from the, the factory or the slaughterhouse so he, he made an order for me and I got my pork lungs to show in my video today so it came in like this the whole lung together with the tubes and I think this is the heart as well yeah and to process it uh, I'm going to keep the lungs because uh, I think there's use for it so I'm going to keep this sorry I'm going to keep the heart I think there's use for it So maybe next time I'll do a special video for it. Pork heart and keep in the freezer. And the lungs part, this is the part that we're going to cook. And this is the part I'm going to discard. Because I'm not so sure what to do with it. Maybe next time I'll find out and I'll, I'll do another video. So we're going to cut away part that we don't eat just using a kitchen scissors as you can see the, the lungs is uh, actually very light and it's also very fresh it's uh, a good lung the pork man told me is clean you don't see any black spots or, or stains on it this is uh, looking very fresh yeah so if there's no stain on it that means it's good no black stains I mean so I'm going to cut the part that's edible after cooking I've eaten the lungs before my mother-in-law taught me how to cook this uh, confinement dish when uh, my first son was born she actually had to wash it clean boil it uh, and then after that cook it with ginger and uh, some sesame oil and it's a good confinement dish so now i got the lungs what i'm going to do is uh, I cut it into a few pieces actually very light and airy so just simply cut it because later I'm going to wash it I'm going to wash it clean and I'm also going to boil it to remove all the um, to remove all the excess blood if there is inside Cut it into smaller pieces uh, so it's more manageable. Not everyone likes to eat offal, uh, and uh, offal you can't eat so much also because people say it's high cholesterol, and I believe that. So, once in a while it's okay, like pork liver, kidney. And I believe the Malay community also, they, they eat uh, cow's lungs, cow's tongue, and also even the cow's uh, penis. Uh, I'm looking out for that one, I'm still searching for that. Apparently the cow's penis, you can make a soup called soup torpedo, it's very popular in Penang. So just give it a wash. 
We're gonna throw these first. It doesn't smell bad or anything because um, the one that the pop man gave me smells pretty decent. It smells like the, the normal pop that I buy from him. And I, I, I think my mom in law told me before if it's smelly, that means it's not good. So it doesn't have any foul smell yet, it just smells like normal pop. So I believe this is good. After cooking, it will turn kind of black, and uh, the taste is kind of like a uh, gamey and a bit rubbery. But it's all part of the texture. Some people like it. I like it. Let's see if my sons like it. It's gonna be a dish for tomorrow. And I think I got a lot here, so I'm gonna keep some for other days. Okay, part of the cleaning process, <coughs> you need some salt to wash. I'm gonna put quite a generous amount here Just to give it a wash. So I'm just massage it in. the trick a bit you see the cloudy water the blood coming out so basically the lung is just uh, tissue and uh, hair and pockets Next, we are going to put into boiling water to uh, sterilize and clean them and cook to them. It's cooking time. I have my water boiling and this is my big pot. So into the boiling water goes the lungs. Oh, must have a lot of air inside because it's floating. So everything goes in. here. Let's see how much it shrink later after cooking. Okay, let's get this cooking and I'll be back with the, the rest. So halfway through cooking and you can see all the impurities are uh, coming out from the lungs yeah uh, so it's a good thing that all the, the dirt is coming out and it's coming out quite fast i'm going to boil this uh, one time 
two times until I get a clearer water and when it's clear that means it's done so I'm going to boil remove and then change water boil again maybe I'm going to do this two or three times until I get it clear and that's uh, then it's ready to be cut into small pieces and cook I've changed the water two times already and uh, it's time to double check you see the the, the lungs right they don't have anything more coming out uh, after boiling so that means uh, it's ready to go so I'm going to give it one last wash after this and it will be ready to cut into pieces I'm going to portion it out for two dishes one my friend was suggesting to do a pork lung rendang and the other one I'm going to do the confinement dish with uh, ginger, sesame oil and uh, lungs. Okay, I'm going to get ready to cut. We are back after washing. So I washed it clean already and here's how it looks like. You can see it's very clean, no more blood and most importantly no more smell. So I'm going to cut this into portions right now. Prepare my two Tupperwares ready. One is for, I'm going to make two dishes out of this. So, just cut as you like. And, depends on what size I'm figuring out right now. So, I think I'm just going to cut it into bite size. One I'm going to use it for rendang and one more I'm going to use uh, for a confinement dish with ginger and sesame oil. Okay, just go ahead and cut to the size that you like. Yeah? So almost done cutting. What I did was uh, on the ends, it's softer. So I took the end part and cut it like this. This I will keep for the confinement dishes. The confinement dish because it's softer and this with the, with the tubes inside that one goes for my rendang same goes for this square piece here just cut the softer ends keep it for the confinement dish and this I just uh, kind of like cube it this will go for my rendang and we're ready to keep I'm going to cook my rendang another day so this goes into my freezer and this goes into my fridge I'm going to cook it tomorrow that will be on a separate video so happy cooking I mean happy cleaning for this case bye